All right, so here we have. Look at the fucking moon. Clarify by priest and hero. Clarify by I love how forgiving you are because I have some news. And niece. So <coughs> for someone listening, this is someone something you have to tell your niece. For others of you, this ain't going to be for you. And for some, it's going to be that an aunt or an uncle has something they want to tell you that um, you must have had to forgive them for. So let's see what this is. I, I feel like it's because... I feel like it's just because you're a channel for spirit energy. And you're, you're showing up as like a hero. Like going uphill, constantly being able to move and not be stuck. Reasonable. It's been a reasonable enough time or they feel like you're, you're, maybe you're more reasonable than you used to be. But let's see, what is this um, news? Tell me about... Tell me about this news. Moving away. You have a peaceful life, I also see. It's just calm. You're more calmer and reasonable. Okay, hurt, truth. Okay. Are they hurt? Or that you've been, they've put you through a reasonable an amount of hurt. Or that maybe if you were angry about something, Chloe, maybe if they were angry or you were angry about something, maybe they're realizing that you, you had a reasonable, it was reasonable. Why? Because you were hurt or that they, I don't know, it was something like this. Hold on. Does Chloe mean, Chloe doesn't mean anything for this message, but. So you moved away and found out the truth, Pisces. They could be looking at things different now, but I feel like you moved away from these family members. You started gaining clarity. And whatever this clarity is, is what this news is. I feel like you already know the news. You know what I mean? That's what I feel like. Like they already know it. So two, three, four. Yeah, divine feminine. This could even be something about a mom or something or a sister. You moved and you grew. So when you moved away from these people, you could have been on heroin or opiates or something like that with the heroin sticking out in my face. And But you learned some truth about something. Or some people or them. This could be your parents with the empress and the emperor. That they're a narcissistic. That you, that there's something about a child. This could even be a sister or something. Look, I feel like you've experienced a tremendous amount of hurt. And so whatever this message is from these family members is going to be like, I feel like they know that they hurt you as well. <clears throat> Maybe they're not used to admitting that they played a part in hurting Right, transformation and stand your ground. I'm telling you, somebody won't give up. So whatever this news is, I'm telling you, it could be material, something material, or some kind of apology or explanation or something. But there's something here where you changed. They could have thought that, um, say you were an addict or an alcoholic or you had issues, that they could have thought that that was going to be temporary. And that eventually you would go back zero. Did they think that you were a zero? Yeah, true spirit. Is that true? And now look, and now you're a hero, right? So they, they I'm telling you, some of these family members, man, you want to talk about like not having faith in somebody. That's sad. But you proved them wrong because the zero, even whether you were, you know, I don't feel like you were ever a zero. But I feel like it's kind of maybe in life with points, right? Maybe your 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 points were low just because of what you were doing in life we'll just say it like that asian gang why is that coming out thinks they're a pimp okay okay there could be somebody that was connected to this whatever happened with you and these people that thinks they're a pimp that played a part in something. Uh, stay tuned.
be right back. Somebody's name is Liam. And I don't know what part this person played. Told your family you were suicidal. Dad, this person's going downhill quick. Hold on a second. This person could have had a fake badge and was told your family something. I don't, I hope they're not going to, I don't know what happened with you and your family, but I hope that they're not trying to find, because for a lot of you, you're not the same person you used to be, and they don't know how to approach you now, so I hope they're not trying to find, like uh, what I said, reasonable, a reasonable excuse for what they're coming to you with. Does that make sense? Like they're trying to find something. Well, this person said this, and this is why we didn't do this, or this is why we did that. Expectation. Karmic female sending family members to you while they're in jail. Let me find out who this bitch is. Establishment. Your establishment, maybe? But this is somebody named Jessica that's in jail. I don't understand why is she sending these people to you. Why, so why is she doing this? Because she's experiencing judgment or she made a bad judgment call? Um, I don't know. There could be a situation where this girl Jessica could have done something to these that had, was connected to this gang. Did Jessica betray some of these gang members or something like that? Right. Did she blame? She blamed it on somebody else. Okay. Yeah, now these people realize that they were fooled by this female. And now they're what? They're walking away. You could have had some Asian gang members that were trying to hurt you and you didn't even realize. Yeah, now they're realizing that you're actually like a good person. This is also sober. So they could have said that somebody could have stole money or drugs from this Asian gang and then blamed it on somebody else. I don't know if you know this person or not. That don't even mean anything. I just can't even believe people do this shit to people they don't even know. Like, you're a coward, man. You fucked up. So this person, may maybe because you had the tendency to get high or you had money prop, whatever it is, I you know, whatever they told your family, I feel like some of it wasn't far from the truth. It would have been believable maybe because of the road you were going down. Hates women. So this female connected herself to a bunch of guys in this gang that don't like women. And this is karma for doing that shit. That's why she's experiencing karma. Because she made a foolish uh, mistake of thinking that she was going to have a place in this gang. Or like of uh, females who do dirty work for misogynistic gang members thinking that they're going to be accepted by these guys when they don't like women, period. It's just funny to me. Look, they're all going down. So I don't know if this is your family. This is some of these people. Hates his own mother, I just saw. Yep. You were the best, most loyal person this person ever had. You know this person? Or this could even be family members, that you're loyal to your family members. Tell me about all going down. Yeah, this moon. I'm telling you, look at the moon. The moon's here twice, Pisces. But this is definitely, man. They could have tried to cut you out from something. They could have tried to cut you out for of some kind of will or money or something like that. Yeah, they lied. That's what they did. So they lied to your family. Answer. Does the answer mean anything? So they could have lied to your family to try to get your family not to talk to you because they were secretly trying to take something that belonged to you. So maybe it's the fact that the, you know, I'm glad that you're forgiving because your family members know that they should have looked into this or they should have questioned something or that they believe this. And I think that <clears throat> maybe you're different than you were before. Maybe you held grudges before. Maybe you never did and they hold grudges. So they just assume that you do. You know, whatever it is, this is like a long time coming. And I just feel like this shit should have happened a while ago. So, all right, you made progress in your life. 
you're priceless. Should have made things right by now. How many times has this card got to come out with this shit? We're kind of tired of seeing it, you know? Um, put your pride and ego aside. I, I just, I feel like that whatever the dynamic was between this group, your family, who these people are, and, and you is not, you're not the same or they're not the same or, or none of you are the same, but it's, I think they're overthinking. You chose to upgrade. They chose to downgrade. Some of your families went downhill. Facial features changing. This could be, I don't know if this is some of your family members or this is just some people. Give me some initials for this. I don't know if they have an old phone number of yours too. They could have been trying to call you when you changed your number, Michael or Michelle. Facial features. H or A, Harry, Hank, Haley, Hannah, Mass, Moss, more. Isn't that more in Spanish? More. Maybe it could just be that. Maybe you could just have some of your family members. I know they're probably not all of them. They're just greedy and didn't want to give you something. Even if it's just an apology, I just feel like they, they would have went to the grave with this shit. They just might, man. Some of them may have. Men ain't shit. Oh, shit. Look at that. It means men ain't shit when you guys, when guys hurt you, even though you show them how much you down for them. And they still hurt you like a motherfucker. Is that, is that, is that, is that. So maybe this is something you're learning. And is that a lot? Not all of them. But a lot of men really ain't shit. It's a certain um, type. Generation. Where it just keeps, seems like it gets lazier and lazier. A mix. Yeah, it was been, it's a mix of men. Thank you. So, yeah. So, you, you could have been getting attacked by a bunch of men. Yeah, look, that's what I was going to say. Getting attacked. Maybe maybe you stood your ground up against a bunch of men. And it's like, you know, you're lo being looked at as like a hero. Because that's a card that came out, right? And maybe now your family, whoever these people, can't deny the fact that they have to do this. Like, you know what I mean? Would you be able to do this is what I feel. So you could have went up as a female against a whole bunch of men and you're still standing. Yeah, look. Mm, I, <laughs> I also think it's like this is you. I, maybe because you had to, right? <clears throat> maybe you have had to do this, whatever this defending yourself was. They could have seen you have to jump into another type of spirit, I guess, right? So they may think you're just like that all the time. Like, like yeah, hello. I realize that there's certain men that ain't shit in this world, and it's all a front, and that they don't know how to protect, but they pray. I feel like for a lot of you females, you lost a lot of respect for, like, men, right? And it's not fair because they're not all like that. But, you know, those of us who know, we know when we just say that. We don't mean every one of them, but a lot. I just feel like you guys lost respect. I don't feel like somebody thought that karma was going to be like this. I don't know. There's something happening. You could have went through a difficult time where you didn't even have a lot, but you had enough and you were grateful. Like I can still, like it, you're, not, the, you're not having this, whether it's money, a home, an apology, it's not stopping you. And I think that's something that's being recognized. Like, well, it don't matter if we hold this back or if we ever talk to them again or this, that, or the other. It doesn't feel like our our disconnect is bothering this person the way that we thought it was going to harvest. This could even be organ harvesting. Is that what this is? So, I, it, you know, this it just feels like you went through some shit, right? And, and, and you, however you turned out because of all of this is not how most people would. And I think that your family members are embarrassed and humiliated and they don't know what to say. This is like the fifth time in the past couple of weeks this has come out. They make it worse, the situation worse, because now there's just time going by and time going by where it's just speak up and say something, you know. I just think a lot of them don't like to feel uncomfortable in a conversation because these are probably family members that have been getting away with acting like everyone else was the problem and that they did no wrong and now they're being forced to look at themselves and it's funny because especially with um my mother right 
she never had a problem communicating when I was fucking up. She would remind me that I was. But when I started doing better, nothing. I mean, we didn't even talk at all. And this showed me, you know, the bitch don't like me. And that was cool because it was both ways. Um, so, yeah, it's just weird when you separate... When you're fully awake, hit me up, right? Know thyself. So they know you know who you are, okay? I, I do feel like they could, you were uh, like a punching bag for a while and now it's, you won't allow that. And now it's like, well, we don't, we, we usually know if we can say this or we throw these words in there that this person falls for it and they can't do that anymore. So now you suffer worse, right? Catfish. Maybe, maybe, um, see, but why is that coming up with your family? Karen? Is it an actual female named Karen? Is this an actual female? Okay. All right. I don't know. They, someone needed to know that. All right. Let me get some more letters. What are we on? 16 minutes? This catfish is also a fake face, right? Maybe that's what they're saying. They can't come at you with the fake face anymore. That's what a catfish is. They're phony. <laughs> right? So I think that's just what they're saying. So they have to come up with like a whole new... It shouldn't even be a script. It should just be genuine. Just say how you feel, damn it. You know? I don't know if these people ever had to apologize for something. There are actually people who have never apologized. SMJ. Shaking my head. That's all they did. Isn't that something? I feel like this is some of your family members. It's like all they would do is shake their head at you. And now someone's a hero or you're sober or both or let's find out. Tell me about this shake in my head. <clears throat> that you keep moving forward, right? I think this is just projecting shit. Like, they, this is how they viewed you. Oh, so-and-so did this. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Like, rude, ignorant, 1717. Yeah, and here you're, like, destined to do something great. <laughs> oh, God. I feel like every time they even speak of you, they get karma. Yeah, here you are, destined to be great, and you're doing it by yourself. So there's something that you did where you thrust it into something, and it turned this freaking wheel, and you did it by yourself, bitch. You could be a Virgo, but you did this solo and you're, you're doing this by yourself. Yeah, you could be a Taurus or a Virgo or have them both aspected highly in your chart. You're just very smart and very wise. Very wise. The Hermit and the Hierophant is like shaman. Yeah, with the high priest. Shut up. So this is you. Look at you. <laughs> Look at you. This is funny. I feel like that is why they're embarrassed, your family members, because somebody like completely, when you're the one that did a 180, was that this message? I forget if it's even this one or the last one, but shit, somebody else, somebody is like, who, they don't know who you are anymore. So it's got them feeling some kind of way. Just imagine if you're, if you're the person or you're part of a group that was really good at making yourself, putting yourselves on a pedestal, whether you even realize you did this over time, <clears throat> some people don't even realize they turned into this because they turned into that from being around other people who do this all the time who just know it and don't care, right? But you wind up never taking accountability for shit. And then there's one person, it's usually the black sheep or the empath in the family that just takes it all. And then one day they wake up and they're like, go fuck yourselves. And now you actually see how angry they get when you won't, you're not at their beck and call anymore, you know? They actually get pissed. It's crazy. But look at this shit. This is like, you don't get better than this. So everything that they said about you, right, is, is like, they feel like fools because they, whatever you're doing or destined to do, none of them could do. None of them. 1919. And I feel like they know that. So now what do we say? Maybe they think that you're just like them. Right? This is what happens sometimes with people. They think that you're going to react just like them. Now, maybe if you think that I'm going to like constantly bring it up because that's what you would do. So now what? You owe me an apology or you owe me money or you owe me something and now I'm supposed to wait twice as long because your pride and ego won't let you come and say that you were wrong? That don't seem fair. Planning. What's up with planning? Universe is not playing. Look at this. I'm telling you, what's going to happen is they're going to wind up going to jail. 
Premonition and foresight. Planning what? What are they planning? An apology? Okay. They're planning on how to say it. Or to try to get you by yourself. They could be trying to do this through like a detective or something. You know what it's weird? Is I feel like you trust the detective more than you trust your family. Tell me the truth. Am I wrong about this? No. And I feel like your family knows it too. And they could feel embarrassed about that. Okay, clarify this. Yeah, I feel like you think that these or this that this person is more loyal to you than your own family. Yep. And is that true? Yes. And they, I, yeah, disappointment at the bottom. I feel like they are humil. It's it's saving face, right? Like, how does this person have such a bond with with these people or this person? It's just loyalty. That's all. You know, maybe they're learning something from this. So what's the outcome now? Besides like jumping up and down. <laughs> cross. Maybe they don't know how to cross your path. Or you could, with this, you could stay in a lot too. You know, with the Virgo is somebody, the Hermit is somebody that stays in there, an introverted person. So they could be trying to cross paths with you and you just don't go out. Or maybe you drank before and went out a lot and you just don't. So they can't cross your paths. Yeah, liberate it in full. So it's, it's. Freeing yourself and others from outmoded beliefs. So you could have walked away from Christianity or something like that, but or just negative thought patterns. I just feel like this this is something you separated yourself, you cut all cords, like you're not overthinking this. I don't feel like you hold grudges. I think they have a problem with the fact that you just let go like that. Right? But that's like the best way to handle something, right? Now they look like fools. Because I feel like you're even helping other people. Yeah, energy vampire. <laughs> You won't allow yourself, an energy vampire is a narcissist, and they manipulate, and they gaslight, and they always try to flip the script and make you feel like everything was your fault, and they can't do this because you have freed, like, you can't be drawn back in, and you can't be fooled anymore. So, so now what? <laughs> so now what? Yeah, it's a struggle for them. Maybe they're just realizing this too. Like, damn, are we really like this? Yeah, it's a struggle for your family because I feel like you're happy regardless. So tell me more about this. Yeah, it, your family's having a hard time with reconciliation because of something that happened in the past. Possibly with a pregnancy. Yeah, with somebody you were in a relationship with. Or married to. So you get hurt. This is a bullshit. You get hurt. They betray you. Whatever this bullshit is that you guys go through in family, because we all have it. You get over it. And and just, like, keep moving. Keep on moving. Right? And, <laughs> and so now what? They must owe you something. They must ha this must be something that has to happen. And maybe this is the first time that they're actually, you know, feeling conviction for some shit. I don't know. It just feels like it had to happen this way. So let me see if they want me to pull anything else. Was this copying swag or something? You could even have some family members that try to copy you or something like that. I don't know. Um, is there anything else you want me guys? No. Yeah, I feel like that's the lesson here. Is it so somebody feels like... Uh, people in the judicial system are closer to them than their own family so it is is what it is we're not going nowhere love you philly out